Our next uh, witness is uh, Dr. Uh, David uh, Sifri. He is the Vice President of the Center for Technology and Society at the Anti-Defamation League. Mr. Sifri leads a team of innovative technologists, researchers, and policy experts developing proactive solutions and producing cutting-edge research to protect, protect vulnerable populations. Additionally, Mr. Sifri is an advisor and a mentor for companies and was selected as a technology pioneer at the World Economic Forum. He joined the ADL after a career as a technology entrepreneur and as an executive at companies including Lyft and Reddit. Mr. Sifri is also an advisor and mentor for companies and was selected as a technology pioneer at the World Economic Forum. Welcome, Mr. Sifri. You are recognized for your opening comments. Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member Portman, members of the committee, good morning. It's an honor to appear before you today to address the ways social media platforms amplify hate and foment domestic terrorism. For over a century, ADL has been a leading voice in fighting hate in all forms, and we've been tracking online hate since the days of dial-up. In 2017, ADL launched our Center for Technology and Society to respond to the threat of online hate. My team advocates for targets of online hate and harassment. We deeply engage with and call out tech platforms to hold them accountable for their actions and their deliberate inaction. Before joining ADL, I spent my career as an entrepreneur and executive in the tech sector. A trained computer scientist, I found, founded six technology companies and served as an executive at Lyft and Reddit. I have been on the inside and I know firsthand how big tech companies work and how business incentives drive product, policy, and strategy. These platforms maximize profits by providing hyper-targeted ads to an audience that spends large parts of their life online. Core product mechanics like virality and recommendations are built around keeping you, your friends, and your family engaged. The problem is that misinformation Hate-filled and polarizing content is highly engaging, so algorithms promote that content. As ADL's own research has long suggested, and Facebook leaks confirm, these platforms exploit people's proclivity to interact more with incendiary content, and tech companies do so with full knowledge of the harms that result. Ultimately, these companies neglect our safety and security because it's good for the bottom line. With no accountability, no regulation, and no incentives beyond growth and increasing ad revenue, extremists find a haven to reach, recruit, and radicalize. Platform algorithms take advantage of these behaviors, especially to our attraction to controversial and extremist narratives. As a result, some users get trapped in a rabbit hole of toxic content pushing them towards extremism. This has deadly consequences. ADL reports show that extremists on mainstream platforms push people into fringe communities that further normalize hate and violence. Extremist ecosystems inspire individuals to commit acts of domestic terrorism, as we saw in Charlottesville, Poway, and El Paso. Senators, three years ago yesterday, in what was the most lethal anti-Semitic attack in American history, 11 congregants were massacred at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Before he attacked, the terrorist posted his anti-Semitic manifesto, which then spread online and was expressly cited as inspiration by the Poway and El Paso shooters. How many lives will be lost before big tech puts people over profit? The leaked Facebook documents revealed that company researchers flagged Facebook's key role in spreading conspiracy theories, inciting extremist violence, and contributing to the events of January 6th. Company executives were fully aware of the problem and chose not to act. Self-regulation is clearly not working. These billion and trillion dollar companies excuse me, yeah, billion and trillion dollar companies have the resources to improve systems, hire additional staff, and provide real transparency. Yet they claim it's too burdensome. Without regulation and reform, they will continue to focus on generating record profits at the expense of our safety and the security of our republic. The leaked fake Facebook documents, January 6th, 
and rising domestic terrorism all confirm what ADL has been stating for years. Social media is a super spreader of the virus of online extremism. It's time for a whole of government, whole of industry, whole of society approach to fighting online hate. ADL built the PROTECT plan to address the rise in domestic extremism and our repair plan to push back hate to the fringes of the digital world. Congress must establish an independent resource center to track online extremists and make appropriate referrals, regulate platforms, including through targeted Section 230 reform, ensure academic researchers access to data, and require regular and meaningful transparency reports and independent third-party audits. It is well past time to hold social media platforms accountable. Thank you for your leadership and working to bring an end to this cycle of hate. Thank you, Mr. Ziffrey.